but you're starting a hip hop solo today. Jane, I had said that you were doing a solo, but it's your first time competing with these kids in a group. I think it's important that she get this group down. It's best to let Jane concentrate on the group routine and really be part of this group rather than give her a solo and have her brain in two different places. Should Jane be upset? No. She hadn't even started it, so it's the big deal. So that's no solo for Jane now? Jane's doing a nice job in the group. She's not outstanding by any means. She's trying to fit in, and that's what I want her to do. So Jane, it's your very first time here. If you don't have a solo, you don't have a solo. Okay, well, if there's time and she can, she would love to ha prove it to you that she can be a soloist that will do I well. I understand so, that, and I would time. love to see her do a solo because I want to see if she uses her face more than Brain uses hers. She does. Oh, you know what? Don't fall for it, Ashley. Does she say that in front of Brynn? Uh-oh. Wait, let me pull them off for you. All right, get in there. Did you just stand in here saying that your kid uses her face more than mine? The last thing I need is a mom to come in here and bully my kid again. So if that's what you're going to do, your ass can get right out the door. Oh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Ashley. No, she's not going to bad mouth Brynn, she, Abby. She did it bad now. She said, my kid uses her face more than Brynn. She's she already seen Brynn dance. Why would you let that happen? I Why said, you let does your daughter use her face more than Brynn? And she said, yes. She never mentioned your kid's name. She that is a direct cut on Brynn. And you know what? It's not okay anymore. Jessalyn did it. I'm glad she's gone. You're not bringing another one. It's not okay. It cuts on her confidence, and I'm over it. She's over it. All Brynn really wants to do is dance. At the end of the day, that is all she wants. And Brynn never doubted her ability to act until a bunch of grown adults started telling her to her face that she couldn't do it. You stood in there. And she you said to, cut her you down. Didn't even hear and what you she said. don't even you know didn't even her. hear what she said. She asked me if Jane had could have a better face than Brynn, and I said yes. Yeah, and that makes I you a bitch. That makes you a big fat bitch. Really? Yep. Well, then I guess I'm a big fat bitch. You can take your ugly extensions back to Utah. All right. Even a perfect score isn't always going to be good enough. I thought her so good. You're so so good. Oh, Thank you. God. Oh God. You think we're good? She was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled. So Abby, does Jane being a part of the perfect score help her to come back next week? No. Why? Why? Because I'm just trying out different kids. Oh, my God. Abby, what, what are you looking for? I want her to stay. Jane didn't bring anything new or different. I think, you know, it's kind of go big or go home. Jane's a dancer that is 13 years old, that's beautiful, that I can call upon. If Kendall's gone, Jane's not too far away. You had the six. Why would you want to get rid of anybody? The six that got a perfect score. Keep that six. What, I don't know what else you could possibly want. They got a perfect score. Was Jane the reason for the perfect score? No, probably not. She didn't pull my eye in a positive way or a negative way. But I think in time, Jane may end up on this team. But that might be further down the road. Three weeks, we'll be going to nationals. I want us to be in our best position for nationals. And I think constantly switching it up and trying out new people. Tryouts are over. Well, I'm just protecting myself. I know that, but we are protecting the ALDC LA too because we want to reclaim the national title. Like, what are you looking for? What are you looking for, Abby? Well, obviously, it's not us. We got a 300 score, and it still isn't good enough. 